This is the Wavecomber module. It contains two audio filters which are very useful for sound responsive video patterns. It also contains its own video pattern generator which makes level and Rorschach type effects. It follows the standard Eurorack form factor and power input. This is a demo of the first audio filter. audio directly into a video synthesizer, what you get is a flickery mess because most of the frequencies are not harmonic with video frame rate. What this filter does is only pass the harmonic frequencies that produce a stable image. This is a type of comb filter. Comb filters get their name because the frequency response graph shows several very narrow spikes at integer multiples of some other frequency. And in this case, that other frequency is video frame rate. The system works by mixing a signal with a delayed version of itself. When you do that, frequencies that are an integer multiple of the delay period add up, and ones that are not cancel themselves out. This is the second audio filter. This one is designed to produce scrolling waves of audio amplitude. So what it's doing is taking in an audio signal, getting its peak, and recording several seconds of that, then playing it back really fast, so it all goes by in a single video frame. There's an output jack for running the filtered audio to other modules. This module also contains its own video circuits, which will create patterns based on this filtered audio. It works by superimposing patterns over an external video signal, compatible with both NTSC and PAL. This knob controls the scroll speed of the graphs. This knob controls the width of the graphs. This knob controls how many times the graphs repeat on the horizontal axis. This knob affects the color and texture of the graphs. This knob is by far my favorite. It makes the graphs warp based on the video signal that they're being superimposed onto. The general theory of operation is that both of those audio filters require an, an analog delay. So all of these capacitors are actually a bucket brigade device made with discrete components. I'm selling this module as a DIY kit. This entire system is analog, there's no microcontrollers or software anywhere in it. It's been designed to be easy to assemble. There are no surface mount components, just nice big through-hole parts. Buy yours today. Thank you.